Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the shocking news of Evander Kane being signed. Now before we start, please make sure to join the Hockey Brigade if you are new by subscribing. Now let's get to it. So, the always controversial Evander Kane has signed a one-year, $2 million deal with the Edmonton Oilers. That comes right after the Sharks tried to get out of their contract with him. The veteran player was, you know... Dealing with a lot of things this offseason, or part of a lot of things, and after a flurry of negative accusations were made against Kane, the Sharks were finally able to get him out of their hair. So, a lot of us wondered, would this be it? Would that be the final bit of NHL action he got? Would he ever be on an NHL roster again after his past innocence? But, we can see that he is going to be able to play again in the best hockey league in the world. And honestly, I'm not very surprised uh, at first, I thought maybe, just maybe, he wouldn't get signed. Then, my expectations or what I thought would happen changed for a few reasons. One is that every story I kept hearing always about King kept revolving back to the Oilers. The Oilers are interested. The Oilers want him. And then the NHL superstar Connor McDavid made some very interesting comments about Kane that made me think he's not very opposed to having him on the roster. He basically was like, he's a good player, didn't really touch on his personal life, and just said, he's a good player, we want good players here, something along that effect. And so that's when I thought that the former Shark would be able to get back in the league, and if it did happen, it would probably be in Alberta with Edmonton. And it also helps for him. Edmonton's been in a slide lately. They have just really had a rough stretch. They have won their past two, but they've been in a free fall, and they have lost a lot of games. It's been piling up. The team has been falling in the standings, and that has caused frustration to mount for a few reasons. That is because with McDavid and Leon on these big contract deals, you have some of the best players in the world and you're not even going to make the playoffs, or at least right now they are. And so with those expectations and those lack of results, you could see that the Oilers front office said, hey, we got to make a change. What is that going to be? What is our best move? And in their eyes, and I think in a lot of people's eyes, they said, we like team depth. We could use some more scoring, more secondary scoring besides their dynamic duo. And that's what they decided to do. You have Evander's experience and his value out on the wing. And that was something that they decided it's worth it. We're going to do it. And they weren't going to worry about the trouble. They're going to try to go out, make this roster better. And theoretically, they did in order to make a playoff push. Now, while Kane hasn't played an NHL game this season, he's shown that he was still a very valuable player for San Jose last year as he led the team in a variety of categories, including scoring with 49 points in 56 games, that being 22 goals and 27 assists. Now we just have to see how he blends in with this Oilers roster as he's had multiple issues with teammates before and we know that he can't afford probably to slip up again or at least with teammates because I think that would be the final straw for even those fringe teams that were thinking about getting him down the road. Now, luckily, for the Oilers controversy aside, they got Evander on a cheap, a cheap short-term deal, and they could have something that really pays off for them. They could have this guy that came in last year and was a big part of San Jose and was able to be a big part of their offense, or, you know, they have a guy that they could get rid of pretty easy. Now, he does have a no-movement clause, so they wouldn't be able to trade him, but the deal that he has is estimated to be about $2.1 million with 750000 being salary and 625000 being sinus bonuses, leading to the et cetera amount being whatever. But yeah, we can see that this move wouldn't break the, the you know the McDavid led Oilers back if they had to get out of this deal with him, is it just wouldn't work out in the long run, and that's fine for them if you just focus on the hockey side. That is to say that he doesn't kill team chemistry, do something crazy in the meantime, and who knows, he might be able to be part of a successful playoff push with this team if he stays out of the drama. I'm curious to see how that goes, and who knows, we'll have to see. But maybe he could be that very, 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 very key part of that secondary offense that is so vital for this team right now that they're liking. We'll have to see. I know I keep saying that a lot. But do you think that this was a good signing for the Oilers? Let me know down below in the comments. And before you go, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know this is a very controversial video, but we have to cover it. And also join the Hockey Brigade by subscribing if you're new. Everyone stay safe. Have a great night. You will love hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.